welcome back to another video and today we're going to be playing some anime dimensions but it's not just your ordinary anime dimensions oh hey guys oh hey sorry about that dumb jokes but uh yeah i'm gonna upgrade these real quick or this just see if i get something good Looks nah okay so i was doing runs with salty on stream and uh, if you don't know he is salty nub he plays anime dimensions he's big cool go subscribe to him but uh yeah we got the brand new character i dropped it and uh yeah we're gonna test it out um so let's see how it looks i've seen a couple of the moves on it let's take my costume off oh that look, look at the sword the sword though yeah the sword looks insane I love the red and black, but um, yeah, if we go to character testing, you can see uh, her abilities. Did we turn our abilities on? Let's see. Nope. Alright, let's go ahead and turn our effects on. And that's good. Let's just go ahead and head back into character testing. By the way, if you guys were ever wondering, um, trading uh, will never come to Anime Dimensions. Uh, I'm pretty sure they confirmed it, so yeah, don't be expecting trading anytime soon at all, or ever. But yeah, her first move is Vile Slash, which we already saw it a bit, and it was it made you go fast, but let's go ahead and see it. Oh wow, that actually looks really good. It's real short, but I don't know if it gives you extra speed. I don't think it does, but let's test the kind of damage on it. Uh, not that good, you know. It has really low cooldown though, so she could be a good time challenge character. But right, let's go ahead and hit one last time. Yeah. Okay, burst air is her too. Let's see the cooldown on it. Uh, I was kind of. It's kind of. Uh, um, anticlimactic. It was kind of just an arrow. The abilities look really cool though, but her two is like weird. It's got seven and uh, second cooldown. Um, it's probably, oh, we already revealed that on accident, but holy, look at that sword. It's another Ryuka type character, kinda. So we got that, and then you can go in for that, which does actually a lot of damage. It did like 300k just now. Yeah, somewhere around there. And you got the sword of victory. She goes around like Ryuka. She's got this glowy thing. Oh, that's sick. Tell it does an insane amount of damage. That's an insane ability. All right, let's see her next ability, Excalibur Morgan. It's pretty, pretty weird name, but we can go ahead and see it. All right. Holy. We didn't get to see the damage on it. Let's go ahead and switch characters. Let's see the damage that we're dealing with. All right, about 500k already. Uh, 500 to 600 K damage. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, we can go ahead and test her out in a dimension. But um, oh, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, that's Nezuko. That's what Nezuko looks like. All right, we're back, and um, yeah, let's go ahead and go, uh, go hop into a dimension. Um, we're gonna do Nightmare, even though I don't have that good of cord uh, cords. Yeah, I don't got any cords either. I don't just have cords laying around. But yeah, we got this. I mean, it didn't turn out that good. It got the highest crit chance I've seen so far, which is 7.8. Um, I think that might be the highest I've seen. So it doesn't really belong on our team. This has only got attack on it. It's also got cooldown reduction. It has crit chance and attack and assist cooldown reduction. So I guess this could go on our team. It's just this is really OP. High crit damage, good crit, uh, good attack, and trashy crit chance. But, uh, yeah, we could unequip that and use this. Our crit chance will be only 50. We don't have a trait on Saber, so it doesn't matter anyways. I told you guys you need to keep this more balanced, but that's because I don't have a good trait on Saber. So, we're just going to stay like this for now. Uh, let's go ahead and sell these, and then go ahead and hop into the dimension. Alright, we're doing hardcore. Probably shouldn't have. But, uh, yeah, let's just hope we don't die. Alright, load them back into the dimension, and here we are.
Okay, didn't mean to do that, but I did that. Let's go ahead and do that, and then Sword of Victory. Wow, this is actually a really OP character. Okay, then we'll just go ahead and use our R here. Wow, that's actually... Dude, this is a meta character. Like, it's, she's a meta jump character. 100%. She doesn't have very insane movement like Kokushiba though. She's, she's not perfect, but she's good. Yeah, she's definitely the new best. Maybe not better than Nezuko though. Uh, definitely not for boss killing, but crap. But yeah, you can tell Nezuko does like way too much damage to be a gem character. And that's without a trait on um, Saber. Imagine how much she could do with a trait. She already does extremely high damage without one. That's OP. We still have Saber's aura around us. So that's good. Uh, the next time we won't do hardcore so we, we won't be able to sa have Saber the whole game. That'll be good. But, uh, yeah. We also got the new mythical pet in the last video that we did. Um, yeah. And then two here. Oh my god. We just went so high. I, that, I was really non-hyper for that. I was like, oh my god. We just went so high. Oh my god, dude. I just went so high. Don't clip that out of time context, please. Please. Don't do it, please. Actually, yeah, that'd be funny. Do it. Do it now. But yeah, uh, all the bosses have new moves and stuff. Like this. Uh, go go oh my god. I need to turn assist effects off. So I can actually see. can't believe some people actually play like this. Oh god. That was gonna be terrible. Yo, we got a legend. All right, we're loading back into the lobby and we'll go ahead and do what we gotta do. As in, not do hardcore and turn off a six, uh, a six assist effects. All right. We good. All right, let's go ahead and head back into the lobby. Or not, what? Okay, I meant that as in, let's go ahead and head back here. I wanna drop the accessory because I don't know the main stat on it. Uh, it's probably like crit damage attack or crit chance because they usually don't do cooldown reduction. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and demolish with Saber. She has zero traits and is already extremely good. No, we, we turn the effects off. That's not what we're supposed to do. At least we can still see the amazing sword. But yeah, she's an actual very good character. If we had this back in Curse Dimension, we would get to like level 80 the pros, the big pros. Cause back then we just had Bakugo. Bakugo and Genos. And boop. Next time we'll, you, we'll have a perfect run using her abilities so you can see all of her abilities in action. Keep in mind, she's doing this much damage with no trait at all. And all the other characters I use usually have some good traits. Like Kokushiba, I have Vicious Epic. Or Nezuko, I have Execution or Legendary. So yeah. Let's go ahead and E, two, one, four, and see how much that does. Holy crap, that melts. This is with no trait. I can't really, she's better than Kaneki. I'd say she's probably the new meta if you can get a good trait on her. Uh, new meta gem character, either that or Nezuko, but you should probably just use Nezuko for uh, boss nuking. Right, we did hardcore. I'm way too used to doing hardcore. I'm just gonna quit and head back to the lobby. All right, let's turn on our effects, and then uh, go ahead and sell these. By the way, we have 120,000 HP. Fate, no hardcore. Fate nightmare. All right, I almost used the E on accident. Very good character. I rate it an A. 
I can't wait for a new tier list. Uh, yeah. Uh, I would make the tier list by myself, but I don't know how to, and I don't want to learn how. So, and it'll take me a while, so I usually just wait for other people to, um, make the tier list, and then I'll, you know, I'll do the thing. And, yeah, she's definitely the best gem character. Maybe Nezuko's better, but since Nezuko's not out anymore, uh, this one's definitely the best, 100%. Way better than Kaneki. Does so much damage, I just can't believe my own eyes. Well, yeah, I can't believe my own eyes now that I think about it. I can do it. I trust my own eyes. Alright, I'll just go ahead and use the ENR because I know I'm not going to complete this that fast. Dude, the boss dodged me. After all of that. Wow, okay, Buster. I see how it is, Lance Guy. Alright, Buster. Brother. Stop. Alright. And boop. There we go. Alright. Go back this way. And drop. Okay, that didn't kill that saber. But, you know, that's fine. It's gonna go... Oh, okay. Well, we just demolished those guys. So, yeah, this is like the new Kokushiba, but gem character. Because she's got her two as Kokushiba's three. That kind of makes up for it. She's also like Ryuka a lot. Her two is extremely useful for those little spots because it has like way lower cooldown than Kokushiba, so you can use it on those two little spots back there. So, yeah, she's a really good character overall. Um, Melt's bosses, um, very good. Yeah, she's definitely an A. Not an A plus or anything, but just an A. She's not the best, not the worst. Yeah, very good. You can see how good she melts the boss. Now, usually I'd reset the Nezuko there, but, you know, we're just testing how much damage she'll do. This is with no trait. No trait, she's already the best gem character. Now, I haven't used Kaneki in a while, so maybe Kaneki's like a lot better. I doubt it, but the first gem character that was actually like comparable to other characters was Kaneki. But now we just got these really OP. Let's go ahead and do another one. She has no trait right now, so she could actually be like an S tier. This is like already A tier with no talents or whatever I'm too used to anime fighters but um yeah she has high damage good uh, types of moves uh yeah she pretty much has everything you would need in a character her three is like Ryuka's and Ryuka's three is really good and her two is like Kokushibo's three and two combined I didn't even need to use my R there my assist That's just so how OP she is. And just do that, do that, demolish. Yeah, I don't know why people are calling her okay when she's like extremely good. Maybe it's because I'm equipped a new, I have equipped a new card, so maybe I'm just doing like insane amount of damage for me to handle. Yeah, uh, I need to go ahead and melt this boss. We can do it pretty fast. She's probably doing like a extra 500k in her ult with uh, like Vicious Legendary or something. But I'm not gonna swap her out for Kokushibo. Because she's definitely not a Kokushibo worthy. But yeah, she's up there. Maybe even better than Gilgamesh. I don't want to jump too ahead. But they definitely need to nerf her because she's really overpowered. I mean, she she's cool. 
So I guess don't nerf her because her abilities look cool. I like to use her. Yeah, she's definitely a really fun character. And you should, I definitely recommend getting her as a gem character. I'm probably going to get her in my new Pro series, which I might be continuing today t or tomorrow. Um, yeah. But yeah, let's go over here, get that, do that. And I guess n not use our three because that'd be kind of a bad idea. But we can use our two over here and then three right there. And then just smack the guy, the guy, the guys, the, these guys, that's what I meant to say in the first time. But, let's get those, get that, go like that, go like that, go like that, and, oh, no, okay. Yeah, let me know if you want to see more videos on stuff like this. Uh, I'm going to be buying uh, stuff, I don't know. Probably by the end of this month, I'm going to be buying some Robux and making some good videos. Um, but yeah, sorry if the abilities are too loud. They shouldn't be, but sorry if they are. But yeah, they sound kind of loud for me, so that's why I'm saying that. But it shouldn't have taken me this long just to talk about a character. Yeah, so her one is like good damage, good just good overall and her two is just good overall her three could i don't know it's really her three is really good too um her four could definitely use some improvements though it does a good amount of damage but it has like no aoe she's definitely a cool looking and uh i'm i meant that as her moves uh look at the sword though i just love the way the character is in total yeah I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, definitely don't swap her out for Kokushibo because... Oh, wait. I have a boss rush ticket. I forgot I dropped that from Raid. We could test her out on boss rush and see how she is. See what time I can get. Let's also upgrade this because I want to see if I can get something good and I didn't get something good. Yeah, I could try and get a trait on her if you guys want me to and then test her out. But I kind of just want to get a good trait on Kokushibo first. And all the characters that need to have a good trait on them so I can get better at the game. But yeah, let's go ahead and test her on boss rush because I didn't even know I have a boss rush ticket. But yeah, I would test her in raid. We're gonna use our assists. And there we go. Yeah, you can just see how OP her attacks are. This is with no traits. She's still melting the boss pretty good. I also have trash stats right now, so don't worry about that. Where, uh, I just got new mythicals. They should give me, they should let me drop another mythical, please. Give me, give me another mythical. If they give me big mythical, then I, I love, I big love the game. Yeah, I'm also getting loads of XP, and, uh, I'm about to level up. So that's cool. Just wait for that. There we go. And three, two, one. Yeah, she's a really good character. All of her moves are on par with like boss rush characters like Kokushibo, Gilgamesh, Broly, Alice. But they, they just, I feel like they're lacking something. I don't know what they're lacking though. I guess there's just no dash abilities, and that's kind of throwing her off, but yeah. She just dodged both my sis. But yeah. Let's go ahead and just finish her off there. There we go. Big drop myth. No. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, Saber's a really good character. I definitely recommend you get her. Um, if you're high level and do a good amount of damage, then don't buy her, just drop her. But if you're low level and can't really do fate, then yeah, go ahead and buy her. Yeah, she's like the new Kaneki. So yeah, 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.